You're on. This is a shaker style brew. <clears throat> I've been uh, I've planted the whole stalk, a whole broom corn stalk, up into the handle of the broom, and that's why it looks a little shabbily up top. And we're going to stitch, put the first row of stitching in. I've looked through the gaps in the sides of my stitching machine to make sure that everything's fairly even. I've looked at the handle down below, make sure it's hanging straight. Uh, lots of tying uh, clamps will have a, a guide down below, but this one, the guide has been broken or damaged. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, and that's fine by me because I use some rather odd sizes and shapes of handles, and I'd rather have something where I can adjust in position without having a guide in the way. So we've got a knot tied at the end of the string. The string is threaded through the needle. We run it up to that knot and we set the knot into the broom. And I'm winding on the short side. So on the opposite side, instead of going this way, I'm coming over here. You can see it coming around. And I'm going to run that broom or the twine around the broom twice. And I'm going to cinch it up just as tight as I can for this first row of stitching. And right here, I want to go underneath. Since it up a little too tight there, maybe I can't hardly get the needle underneath. Right where I started to over the top in front. Make sure I keep it pulled up tight when I pull it through. There we go. Underneath, in front, right where I came out, over the top, and back. This broom is larger, and the outside wrapper, being craft corn, is a bit tougher than the straight hurl, so we're going to have to struggle a little bit more to stitch it up. But we'll get through it in diagonal half inch to the front. in where I came out and straight to the back. Always starting below the line on the front, always coming out above the line on the back. On a broom of this size, I like to put in about 10 stitches per row. advantages for shaker brooms or for modern brooms? Or does it matter? Uh, the stiff outer layer of a shaker broom tends to increase the wear line and because it's a little bit stiffer it does a really genius bang up job uh, lifting the nap on your carpet or rugs if you ever. I mean, we have four cats and two dogs and we raise sheep and goats for fiber so the, the, the rug in our living room is constantly just covered with fluff and fur. And we take a shaker style broom and sweep that rug and it just lifts the nap and lifts everything out of it. Uh, then, if we so choose, we can use one of those other things, you know. Uh, but uh, um, I've been told also now, we don't use it in this manner, but uh, one of the ladies that bought a broom come back and told me that the shaker style broom with the stiffer outer wrapper is just incredible on her hardwood floors in that it gives that waxed floor, instead of scratching it the way some people fear, it brushes it. And, and think, think about the difference between a sheet of aluminum and brushed aluminum. It just brings up a subtle little shine when she sweeps her waxed floors. Hello, folks. Hello. Hi. How y'all doing today? Pretty good. Feel free to, to ask what questions you have. 